Hi guys, Canadian Hunter here. So I got a new uh, Boyd stock for you guys today. This is uh, one that I ordered up for my Savage 25 walking varmeter. And uh, I'm going to show you guys um, Boyd's, uh, their packaging. I definitely want to show this off is that the packaging is definitely improved from some of the previous stocks that I've ordered. Um, normally it just comes with just some paper and the stock's just loose in there, but they actually are giving you <clears throat> some sort of decent packaging now. The box is nicer. They're giving actually even an Allen key with it now, um, which I don't remember them doing this previously. And uh, they're giving you some leaflets, uh, just explaining, you know, how to sort of mount the stock. So definitely an improvement in their uh, packaging department. But I'm going to show you which one I got for the Savage 25. There we go. So I've got the Coyote Laminate stock. And I did choose the um, optional cheek riser. And I ended up finishing this one in the uh, the high gloss finish. And I think, uh, I haven't looked at this yet, I didn't cheat. And uh, I think it looks really good actually. I'm very, very happy with that. So, and I want to go with the, I've always wanted one of these Coyote laminate stocks. I think that they, they're really nice. And uh, yeah, just first impressions, it's very, very nice. So. The uh, reason I didn't have going with this stock is that uh, I decided that uh, the 25 walk in varmeter uh, was quite accurate, but I felt the stock was, was letting it down. And uh, I thought uh, I was avoiding this because of the weight, I wanted to keep the gun light, but I decided that uh, I'd rather have accuracy than keep it super light. So um, as you can see, they, they, well let's see here now, they do give you a front screw must be just because the stock one is uh, too short perhaps and these ones are probably long enough. If you've never seen a 25 walking varmeter, um, it actually has three screw points where most guns have two. And uh, the action on the 25 uh, is, um, is not a recoil lug like a traditional rifle. It actually is almost like a, a scaled up rim fire. So it uses sort of a round plug style uh, recoil lug. So don't know how this is going to fit yet. I don't know if I'm going to have to do some kind of bedding on this. I'm um, just taking a quick look here. Looks like uh, if I wanted to do some support bedding, um, I could definitely do that. I'm not going to do anything out of the box. I'm just going to mount this stock. I'm um, going to guess on some inch pounds. Uh, I usually find with these Boyd's wood stocks, well, 35 inch pounds is is adequate, and uh, especially for a 204 Ruger that has virtually no recoil. And uh, I will be playing with the adjustable cheek riser. Um, I'm not 100% sure how it works, but it does look like there's some Allen key holes here, which is probably why they gave you that Allen key, uh, is to adjust the cheek riser. And uh, that's it. This is a really, really quick video, but uh, just uh, want to show that uh, Boyd's, I really think that uh, they are stepping up uh, with the quality of their shipping at least and and their stocks are really really fantastic honestly um, They're they're very very affordable and I know that I've had some videos in the past that kind of um, Was you know Boyd stocks kind of suck, you know, you gotta you gotta you gotta bed them But I mean that's nothing. I mean it's it's sh it should be expected that if you want good accuracy You're probably gonna have to bed your gun. So um uh, But anyway, so we're gonna see how this one shoots uh, very very curious again. I know that this 25 walking varmeter is, is very different in, in how it, uh, it how it mounts and uh, we're gonna see how it fits I'm, I'm assuming that I'm not gonna have to hog anything out here that it's it's you know it's gonna fit um, this stock was specifically for the 25 walking varmeter and there really is only one version of that gun so hoping for a really good fit that's it guys really quick video uh, once I get it all mounted up I'm going to uh, show you kind of uh, you know how the gun is once it's finished. I'm gonna wait a little bit though. I'm gonna gonna get it mounted up. I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna find out whether I gotta bet it, and then I might make a a final video to my 25 walking varmeter uh, in what's gonna be eventually its final configuration. That's it, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, and as always, please click subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye bye.